I'm just expecting random new people that have never watched the channel before to like, click in on episodes during this arc and see this and just that's what convinces them to subscribe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. We have 811 and 812 from One Piece today and Luffy and Nami and kind of King Bomb are fighting off an army. While Sanji has pretty much realized he's like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna just commit. And he's like, this marriage is happening. Let me just be nice and kind of embrace pudding because she obviously feels very bad. Gonna hop into these. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a sub and let's get started. Okay, do they have any powers? Or no, they actually just have spears. That's insane. That's insane. They just have long necks and use spears. Just, just hit them in the necks. Yeah, it's obviously the weak spot. Oh, there's still a million left. So Nami's old boy took out like a, a fifth of them, maybe. Can she ult again? No, it looks like it's that's that same cloud. Like she can use it again and again. That's busted, bro. Is that a Ferris wheel back there? Can we go? Can we go? Oh. Oh, she's using big moms against them. Damn, that's smart, actually. I guess it makes sense. She'll be able to use the weather around her. Oh, that's what she does? She goose? Is that goo? Oh, no. Wait. If she separates Nami, then Bomb is free. Wait. Oh, no, she didn't pour too far. That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about, low key. It's like, that's the only thing holding Bomb back is the, is the card. Oh, he's going to sneak away. Wait, are they going to punish Bomb now? Why is her hat that big? Wait. Wait. No, not Bomb. Oh, my God. That is the longest blade I've ever seen. Famous sword? Shirao. Wait, that sounds gas. Wait, why do I feel bad for King Bomb? She's executing him. No! Someone stop her. No! Bomb! Wait, this is so sad. He's crying. No, no, this is wrong. Yeah, she's like torturing him. She called it a slow ballad. <laughs> it's like polar opposite of Zoro. Dog, like, bomb for all gonna die. That's kind of sad. Are those books? He's standing on floating books. Okay, yeah. Nami gonna kick her. Dude, how this cream man, how is he making such good moves? <laughs> I like how he only has one move though. He just says cream monster over and over again. Oh, meanwhile, <laughs> okay. How is this fight ever gonna end? Couldn't he like break the, that's an alligator. I forgot she brought more. What is that though, man? What is that? Attaboy Chopper? Couldn't he like grow his legs and break them? No, because I guess he doesn't grow individual parts. It's just forms. Bro, what is this? What is this? She just jumped out of the way. She electrified him. This is so bizarre, man. This entire fight. Thank you, Chopper. Cho oh, she cut the chains! You fool! Wait, they're unleashed now. They can use the mirrors. Oh, wait, no. Oh, she just made she made copies. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, they've been able to do this this whole time? Wait, that's it? They're defeated after getting the chains off? I, I don't like these noises in my ears. I, I didn't like that at all. What does this guy do besides stand on books? What? What the f Never mind. My bad, bro. I'm sorry. Is this Jola's power? Am I flashing back to dress Rosa? Is that Brooke? That's got to be racist. I'm sorry. Bro absorbed an elephant gun and sent him to a different dimension. Sent him to a another world. This is his Keke Genkai. Oh, wait. The long necks are here. Is it like a storybook he put him in? Oh. Bro, one tiny book absorbing it? Oh, wait, wait, it is like, it's, it's like a figment of his imagination. Wait. 
Luffy's getting clapped by a book. <laughs> Boy, this is not fair. He's on like an acid trip, man. Who's fighting demons? I mean, what is he supposed to do to break out of this? He's getting beat up by chess pieces. This is embarrassing. Who could step in? I mean, maybe, maybe Brooke and Pedro were strolling by since they're apparently not doing anything. It'd be hella frustrating though, getting hit just by nothingness. And being stuck here. He probably has to like find the exit or something. I don't know. Oh, now we're really back on Punk Hazard. These are some cheap shots though. Bro's drugged up right now and they're taking advantage of him. Is that an eye? Bro. So things in the storybook hurt him and in the real world. How is he supposed to win? Wait, this power is so strong. Let me guess. Yeah, Kree monster. Yeah, yeah. That's your only move, bro. It's really effective, but it's your only move. He has gotten way more hits in on Luffy than Treble ever did. And now there's clones. Dog, this is the most powerful uh, devil fruit in the show. You put anyone in this world, what are they supposed to do? It has to be like some easy out that you just have to figure out. He's about to get absolutely clapped. Oh, he can see Nami. How is he supposed to look out when he can't see them? It said suspense. Wait, they brought him back. He closed the book. Why would he close the book? Bro! Wait, why is it called a cream punch? How is his skull not crushed? I guess he's gum or rubber. How is his skull not crushed though? They need piercing abilities. Oh, because the cream is in between the fists. They fist him with cream. I see. Wait, they wait. Wait, my prediction was that they were going to beat them and the army would retreat. Wait, we're losing, guys. Guys, we weren't supposed to lose. He fell! I thought I was gonna do a fake out where he stays standing. He lost. Wait, we're we're getting our cheeks clapped on Whole Cake Island. Wait, guys, game over? Wow, that's the chateau. I had no idea. Oh, he's walking the halls alone at night. So is he staying in the chateau till the wedding? <laughs> the treat screaming, bro. I thought they're supposed to like being eaten. Me next, mommy. Me next. Oh, he's just talking with her. Scream, bro. Oh, oh, to let the straw hats go. Like I said, though, he has no leverage. None. She is not going to say yes. She is not. She's still pissed about Cracker. Like I said, he has no leverage. He has to get married. It's not about whether he wants to or not. I don't know. Maybe Big Mom will surprise me. Oh! No way. She's lying. She's lying. You're lying. Uh, she's no, she's being she's being sneaky about it. She's being sneaky about her words. Like she said alive. That could mean like without limbs. Wow. I am shocked. He has no leverage and she said yes. That's shocking. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. Dude, did she ever get the, the gift they sent or the box that had like the explosives in it? I feel like it never even covered that. I don't know what Sanji's thinking though, because like Luffy's never gonna leave. He's ne he's not going to leave if Sanji's not leaving with him. If you don't run away, everything will turn out for the best. Ugh. And then Luffy's just, yeah. Poor Sanji, man. I mean, poor Luffy too, obviously, but seriously. Well, now what? Are they gonna like take him in like captive? Oh, she's got Nami. Oh, what about Bomb? Is Bomb dead? They actually won. I was expecting Luffy to win. Bomb! No! That's so sad. He was such a beautiful tree. Oh my. Uh, Can we replay that? Oh my gosh. Wait, now they have the v Vera card. That's enormous. Those are enormous. I'm sorry. Wait, they lost like their trump card. Because we're chill vibers, man. No, Lola's our friend. I have a prediction. End of the episode, I have a prediction. 
Oh, shoot. Catch you guys alive. They're taking them in. I, my prediction is I feel like they're going to be given the chance to just go to the wedding as like peaceful guests. And then like that's where it's all going to really go down. I feel like that's where it's leading to. They'll go to the wedding as like captives. And then at the end of the wedding, she'll say you can leave. And that's like the breaking point. He's holding onto the grass. He's still holding onto the grass. Damn. He said he ain't leaving. Damn. Oh, he ain't going to stop until Luffy lets go. Dude, I feel like this is like the biggest test he's ever faced, like one of his crewmates to stay in one single place. He let go. I mean, if he gets knocked out, he literally can't hold on anymore. Well, and so concludes the battle and we actually lost. Again, I feel like I can predict some things in this show, but not that. 812, a guest room where Sanji stays. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, subtitles. Well, he got what he wanted out of Big Mom. But well, they're being taken to the Chateau, no? They're already in jail? What? Not so fast. Did she think he was dead? So he got knocked out all the way. Wait, he's gonna freak out that he didn't get to stay in one place. He's still missing a tooth. Is that tooth just gone? Usually it's like an effect for when they're injured. It's like a C prism nail. What? Nami? Wait, it says Nami and Monkey D. Luffy up there. Wait, what? They're in a book again? Oh, wait, there's giant books everywhere. Prison library of the whole... Wait, this is sick. I like his design a lot. He still wants to go back to where he said he would wait for him. Can he, like, decide the rules of the nail? So, yeah, he writes in the book and, like, that decides the prison? Wait, it was spelled whole cake. H-O-L-E cake. He, like, writes their story and decides the rules? Jailhouse book. He just closed it. Bro, that's a cool power. Oh, meanwhile. The like rawr. I hate this. I feel like the train guy is kind of funny. Just because he can run. Like he just moves his legs, but he still has to like churn himself. Chopper and Carrot can't get caught too. Or else we just lose. They're allowed to plan right now? Why are they letting them plan? So it's so anime, bro. What are you whispering about over there? Let me know. Oh, she's on one side. He's on wait, what? Huh? Did they even have to do anything? Okay, never mind. They will. So what's the what was the plan? My only guess was that they were gonna try to like be like. Oh my God, Brooke! I forgot you existed. Panda! Wow, that's the most obvious one ever. <laughs> I thought they were gonna try to pretend to be like the clones. <gasps> what? Two Ponagos and a road. Oh my God, I just busted everywhere. They're just here. Oh shoot. Treasure repository. Oh my gosh, two Ponoglyphs and a road. If Robin was here, bro. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine how much they would, that she would be able to find out? So they have to copy all three of those? So there's 30, wait, there's 30 total Poneglyphs? And then nine? Who is this giant? Is that the guardian? Oh, oh my. Sweet general, smoothie, another general. Wait, smoothie is enormous. Oh, oh my, what is happening? She's ringing out a human. Why? There's Baron. In order to get to the last island, you need the road ones. Four road. Mm -hmm. The one delivered by Jimbei? What? <laughs> Got it on my way here? They have two regular and one road. There's a general, bro. Oh my gosh. One of the streets is uh, Minister of Juice. Oh. She juices people? 932 million berry bounty. Sea smoothie? Oh my legs for days! She bad! Mink Poneglyph Thief. 
Wait. Wait. They're talking about Pedro. And Pedro's a pornograph thief? Oh, shoot. And Brooke heard. Pedro. <gasps> A um, poneglyph thief. Oh, shoot. Wait, smoothie a baddie! He's like telling her the history of the stones just for the viewer. Damn, there's a lot of guards. And there's a general guarding it, man. Oh, no. Nah. It makes sense that they're not just stowed away somewhere without someone watching them, though. Wait, he's a poneglyph thief. He's perfect for this job. I get it, spirits seller, because Brooke's in here and then drinks. Yeah, it's funny. Sweet general smoothie. So now we've seen two of them. Two of the three. <laughs> That's what I noticed. She's a minister of juice, so she can literally just juice people. So it's really bad that Baron noticed him because he knows who Pedro is. Now that's why security's tightened. Mm-hmm. They would have had to come here eventually anyways. Yeah, seriously, it's like now or never. The fact that the entire like knowing of the road Ponegos lies with Pedro and Brooke, bro. Oh gosh. Doesn't know about Brooke. Pedro could be a decoy, like distract. I'm way ahead of you guys. Way ahead of you. Mm-hmm. It's interesting, though, that that's what, like, he was hiding, is that he was a Ponego thief. But I guess the question is, like, how much does that weigh in the, like, the grand scheme of things? Oh, meanwhile. No way she put them in a pot to boil like an evil witch. No shot. Oh, my gosh. Wait, this is a bad ending. Movie lost. Kara's going to get cooked. I mean, you are rabbit, so I I don't know. It probably tastes like chicken. Oh, she's not a real rabbit. Oh, okay. No, he's lying. She is. Okay, Chopper, you literally have to do something. No one can just show up here and help. Can you enjoy a collection of beasts? Like alive ones? Or like mounted on a wall? Well, Carrot, uh, hate to break it to you. This, this is part of the plan. Oh my gosh. He's gonna shrink down. The pot looks so happy. He's gonna use monster point. Oh nah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. They're all so hyped to eat carrot. This is crazy. And transform and just obliterate everything here. Uh, hello? Uh, when? We cut away? Oh, my toe Just put it in. Back to the library. Oh, she's picking out different books. Infinite universe in a book. This is so cool. This design is sick. Wait, like, is this her beast collection? He would go in a book? Wait, Manticore during the time. Wait. Oh my gosh. That's the one from Impel Down? Oh. A, that's a unicorn? It looks like a zebra. Yeah, what a waste. Ah. And they all have like that nail in them. Oh, there's another panda. Oh. Wait, she's so close to like Luffy and they've never met. Yeah, Mondor is like really important. A centaur from Punk Hazard. A griffin from South Blue. So she's a. Uh, she likes her collection. A long limb human? Wait, wait, that looks like uh, the one guy from, from, from Dress Rosa. One race I don't see. Oh, shoot. Wait, what race? <gasps> oh. She doesn't have a giant. Is she gonna get mad? He's like, why don't you have any of those? Are you a loser? A winner would have one of those. Yo, bro, she actually mad. I don't think she has one. That hit like a soft spot. Oh. oh what's happening? Why's he freaking out? What was that? Brought those two here. Are they already in the library? 
I'm very busy today. <laughs> Her manners. I thought they were in the library. I got nervous. <laughs> Was he like fanboying? We're just at school. I can't, bro. Influenced by a comic strip. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, like the stories about them. I totally forgot about that. That's how I like introduced them. Oh, I'm trying to look at the names. That says Admiral. Page 55. How are you supposed to get off, like, get the nail off? Like, how do you break out? Oh my gosh, this guy with a lollipop. Bro, okay, okay, all right. I'm all sticky all over. Hero Sparrow, eldest son. But he's not a general? You kind of suck, bro. Eldest son, you're not a general? Big L. <gasps> She's coming. Mommy's here. Oh, wait, what? Is that a phone? Wait, why doesn't she come in person? How big is this damn library? Just come see him. You're like FaceTiming across the house. I gotta go back. I don't think she cares, Luffy. I think she's gonna tell him about Sanji like earning their freedom, but he's not gonna care. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah, he kind of talked big. <laughs> not now, not this time. They literally can't move. And then Sanji's not gonna come out. He probably can't even find them if he wanted to. It's literally all on Brooke and Pedro. It's over. We lost. Yeah, why didn't she come in person? Come spit on him. Disrespect him a little bit. Oh, hell! I mean, but like, seriously. Why didn't she just come see him? I mean, bro, like, it's at that point in the arc where we've even run out of options because, like, we're not even free anymore. Sanji is virtually trapped. He can't move. He's not going to be able to come find them, even if he wanted to. And then Luffy and Nami are in jail. So I feel like things, for a little bit at least, are going to move relatively quickly because nothing else can happen. They don't have any time to pad where they can just fight off armies and random chess pieces. They are completely at Big Mom's will and what she wants to do. But I think her ego will take the fight. She's like, oh, yeah, well, if you were going to talk that big, let's go right now. Yeah, in my, like, home territory. She has a home team advantage. But that is interesting, it bringing up sort of part of Pedro's past. I still don't really fully understand the entire thing with, like, the nine poneglyphs. Only nine of those 30 have specific kinds of information, which is interesting. I don't think we knew that before. Nine have specific information, and then four are pone road poneglyphs. We've already found one. They said Big Mom has one, and I think they said Kaido has one. So wait, where would the fourth be? I don't remember. Did we, did we, were we told where the fourth was? I don't know. Regardless, where is Jimbei? Actually, no. That's the next piece of the puzzle. Where is Jimbei? The last time we saw everything happen with Jimbei, he was about to spin that wheel to, to leave her crew and then like lose a limb or something. But then we heard from someone talking that he said that he was going to stay. So where is he right now? That's probably the only other option besides Brooke and Pedro, but Bro Brooke and Pedro Bro, their goal right now isn't freeing Luffy and Nami. It's to get the road poneglyph and then they have to figure out like the current situation. The whole cake's eating up, man. The pacing's pretty solid so far. Let's keep it up. Guys, that's been it for my reaction today. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like on this one if you have not already. And I'll see you next time. Peace, peace.